All right, here we go. We're taking on Sydney. All right, got my nacho fries, got my game fuel. Ooh. Wow, look at that one. That's a fry. John. Sorry. John, what timestamp? Timestamp. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. <laughs> that you're not supposed to cuss? No. Uh, I thought of a really mean thing I could do. Oh, what's that? Just randomly throw out a Every, John! every once in a while, so you have to stop. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> Arcades Chain. It's not the Chain Model Lock. Dang it, I keep doing it's a that. Card lock. Welcome to the Randomizer versus Card Lock. Ruby and Sapphire. I'm Jordan. I'm Jordan. I hope <laughs> <laughs> he's Jordan. Jordan. Uh, I'm anyway, John. guys, I'm John. we really hope that you know who we are by now because this is the finale. Probably. Maybe. Unless we both lose. And, and maybe we keep the, the going. next to last one. Yeah, maybe next to last. Well, I think I think one long episode, unless I lose, in which case. I don't know, depending on where you are, if I lose, maybe we let you do a team re or a chance. And if you lose, then we're like, well, screw it, we're gonna grind and we're gonna cut new episode. Um, no, I let I let you So I wrote down, make sure you timestamp when you go get why not. Guys, today I'm gonna be taking on Elite Four again. Uh, John's oh. gonna be oh, we're gonna address the cards, is that okay. what you were gonna say? Yeah. yeah. John's gonna be getting why not. But we realized after we finished recording the last episode that we forgot to have me draw cards after each elite four member Oopsie and that daisy. made a very very large difference in the game uh and a quick rewind in case you guys are wondering why i don't have a totally new team right here it is because i had a flea card which is the seven card that allows you to escape any encounter without any negative repercussions which in the case of my last elite four run was all six of my team members so basically i got a free try to see how i was doing and i made it to the last mon of steven Really fun stuff. Make sure you watch last episode. You just had to get the cards out anyway. Yeah. So, guys, a quick recap of the cards that I drew. Um, before, I guess before we get to that, a quick recap of the cards that I had and John had before I drew them. John is holding a king, which is the bankruptcy card. He can play it on me. I believe he's playing it right now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play it. He's playing it now, which means I cannot spend any money this episode. So that's fun. Good thing I already have all my healing stuff. But uh, And before any drawing, I had a three, which was the mulligan card, allowing me to force a re-encounter on myself or John, and a queen, which is the limit break, which allows me to pick one Pokemon John cannot use in a battle of my choice, which is uh, good for me if I lose and he makes it to the Elite Four before I get back, because I'll have to get a whole new team. Uh, and beyond that, I drew four cards for the four Elite Four members I beat, which were a three, another mulligan, a two, which is the Lazarus Pit, which means I get one free revive at any point of any mon ever. Uh, I'm taking a revive in... Unfortunately, I don't have a max revive. I thought about that. I looked. Uh, but I'm taking a revive in with me to the Elite Four to try to take him down. And then I also drew two fives, which are grind cards, which gives me ten minutes each of free sped up grinding. And you might notice... Uh, well, I, I went ahead and did that. You might notice based on my levels, uh, Tank here is at level 50 now, looking good. His only change really is that he has Sludge Bomb instead of Sludge now. And uh, that said, so my two fives are played, John's King is played, so the only cards left are my two threes, my two, and a queen. Uh, so two mulligans, a, a Lazarus Pit, and a Limit Break. Yep. We're going to have to figure that out in the future if we want to say card numbers or card names. And can can you even use mulligans anymore? I have two routes left. Oh, okay. Uh, if I if I lose, I'm going to go to, like through Pacific Log and get that and all those encounters. Oh, okay. So that said, I'm going to take on the Elite Four. John's going to the place. and uh... Oh, oh. I was going to say, as you can see, I've done the grinding. You might notice there was not a grinding montage at the beginning of the episode. The footage did not save right. It was corrupted. Um... <laughs> But, I mean, I only leveled up tank, so, I mean, decide for yourselves whether or not with speed up I can get up eight levels in 20 minutes. It, was, it wasn't that hard. All right, you ready, to, said, you ready to start? Uh, three, two, one, let them rip. All right, I really don't know if I should grind Vileplume or not, but I think I'm going to go for it. 
I think I'm risking it for the freaking biscuit. You're gonna go for well, real it. Real quick, I'm actually gonna look and see if there's anybody worth getting from the PC and grinding <laughs> instead of having. So I could get. I mean, look at this. My best level in here is Don Fan. Why don't you get Articuno? Because Articuno is like level 29. So what? You, you can take your time. If I had thought of that before this last grinding session, and I could have grinded the Articuno up to like 45, yeah, that would have been worth it. That would have been smart. But I didn't. So instead, we're just going to go right on ahead, and we're leading with Shaquille, and that's it. Here we go. All right, rip. Ba, ba na na, ba na na, ba na 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 na. Ba ba na 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 na. I just switched into Zelda. I, I noticed that. That was nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up the mic a little bit because my waveforms are pretty loud. Uh, all right, here we go. We're taking on Sydney. All right, got my nacho fries. Got my game fuel. Ooh. Wow, look at that one. That's a <laughs> fry. Uh, John. Sorry. John, what timestamp? <laughs> Timestamp. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> that you're not supposed to cuss? No. Uh, I thought of a really mean thing I could do. Oh, what's that? Just randomly throw out a f every, John! every once in a while so that you have to stop. You're supposed to stop when I'm writing. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, so. I just wrote down John for who it was, and I was like, it doesn't matter because it's all in the same audio. Yeah. Anyway, remember to let me know about the why not. Do you have the why not now? Yeah, I have the why not. Okay, so it's around 610. Yeah. I'm glad that I remembered to say that again so you didn't just keep on proceeding. I assume there's no other changes to your team. Nope, I'm just adding the why not on. That's all you have, right? I mean, there's not. Yeah, this is this is my full. That's your, so if you lose, you lose. Like if I lose and yeah. you go to the Elite Four and lose, well, you I'm, have no Pokemon. I'm probably not going to take Licky Licky in. Okay. Because all he knows are HM moves, and I don't think any of them are stab. So that's when you'd have to train up the Lickitung to, like, level 100 to have a chance. Yeah. I'm also probably not going to take Y in there, because he's only level 31. Who's Y? Why not? Yeah, why, why not? not? All right. Starting strong. One hit KO. Nice. This is going to be... It could be short. It could be... If you guys look at the time right now on this episode, you're going to know what happens in this Elite Four run. I'm about to get my crap wrecked. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he used protect. I was like, how did I miss surf? What did he do? Yo, one shot. Bet. <laughs> the one shot stress you out, don't this they? Is <laughs> You're like, why did I let Jordan grind? That is a rock. Rock grass? There's just rock. Did we, did we turn that? No, pseudo Oh, uh, pseudo -woodo? I think it's just rock. So, water is good. Water is bad. <laughs> you send, send out a... Uh, uh, actually, I don't know what rock is strong against. Well, I was thinking about letting Vileplume do it. Hmm. But Vile, I don't want to lose Vileplume because I know that there's like some water ground types that I like one shot even 15 levels under. Mm -hmm. All right. It's hard not to use speed up after grinding for that long with speed up. Oh, it used block. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, no, because it block ends after I defeat the mon that cast it. So that's okay. Block keeps you from switching out in case you're not familiar with that move. Oh, okay. Oh, and he's healing. Artisan Wayne. Nice. I'm still in the first battle, right? Yeah. I didn't, I've forgotten where I'm at already. <laughs> yeah, you're in the first <laughs> This battle. is going to be a long grind. <laughs> uh, oh, I should have bet Shaquille. I should have bought some repels. Uh, no, that that yeah. was the other annoying thing about Victory Road, because I kept running in a wild Pokemon. If you ever play the fan-made game Pokemon Uranium, that Victory Road is like every two steps you get an encounter. Torturous. Skitty. Man, you, you've got such a good Elite Four to fight. They're, they're, they're all like skitties and stuff. Oh, well, it's only because I have two buff water types, and uh, luckily they have a lot of rock ground. Mm -hmm. Yo, hit that man with that acid armor. <laughs> I'm dropping that LSD. Is that PG? Should I... Should I... Should I bleep that? <laughs> no, man. Just go, go with it. Go with the flow. Oh, I'm so happy I remembered to put leftovers back on tank instead of leaving the experience share on. 
Uh, man, you should have done that. I would have loved he that. He only does 16 damage with double edge. And I gain like 8 back every turn. And now I have maxed out defense. This is sad because my original plan, I was, I was discussing with Cameron mm -hmm. earlier about plans for the Kyogre, what I could do. And I was like, I'm going to go out to Chansey first and use a bunch of flashes. And if I'm still alive, I'm going to hit him with a bunch of minimizes and then just waterfall as long as it can stay alive. Mm -hmm. You know, make it really hard to hit him. And then when he dies, I'm going to go to Muck and then acid armor up and or minimize and acid armor up and then just hit him with sludge bombs. And he's like, yeah, but you see, that plan fails because acid armor is for defense. And Kyogre only has water type attacks. And it's going to be Calm Mind boosted with all special moves. So it's going to do me no good, basically. I'm not sure if this is the last mod or not. I might be wasting some minimizes. Is that like the second one or the third? No, that's the third one, right? I think this is the fifth mod. I've one-shot like every mod except Pseudo Wudo. It's at least the fourth mod. Oh, okay. Because Pseudo Wudo was the third. I can't remember yeah, if this that, came that's out right. directly Pseudo after Wudo was the third. So now I'm totally boosted up, got the leftovers, two minimizes up. Hit this man with a sludge bomb. PP is my main concern. Because what you stuck... Luckily, I got money for my healing items mm -hmm. on last episode. Yeah. What I'm concerned about is that you stuck me with using a lot of my PP items because I was convinced that I was making it. Yeah. Like, and then I got stuck without them. <laughs> Poison resists this man, and I've got four... Or up six defense. Oh, he's got flash fire. What's no, that? I've got flash fire. If I get hit with a fire type move, oh, I power okay. up. Yeah. And he traced my flash fire, so he has trace. So I'm gonna hit him with the sludge bomb. I think that should do pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it's super effective because he's grass type. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was thinking about switching to Lapras and ice beaming him, but then I'm like weak to the ground to the, to the fighting. That would have been a bad move on my part. Yeah. That would I've got to remember what I did last time. Because I think you just like one shot at everything. Oh, thanks for using a full restore, Tamer Cammy. That's what I'm trying to be careful about, is because I can one shot a lot of things, but strategically I want to spread out my PP use, mm -hmm. and I want to try to have every Pokemon alive going into the Kyogre. Yeah. Which is a lot to ask to get through every battle, because I've got. What I've got is two Lepa Berries, mm -hmm. so that's two moves. I've got one Ether, 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 and so that's, no, no, that's no, I'm three saying moves. It's either. Either. Oh, I got you. It's and either, then I've got either, one either. Elixir, which is every, one every move on a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So basically, I have seven moves that I can max out. Yeah. Well, actually, Ether and. Uh, Lepa Berries are only 10 PP, so I don't necessarily max them out. Uh, I've got lots of full heals. Like, look at that, I'm only down 5 HP. <laughs> I've got lots of full heals, lots of super potions, hyper potions, and full restores. PP is my worry, because I used like 6 Lepa Berries in this last attempt. Yeah. And I'm really worried about the Kyogre, because he's gonna... I can't beat him with Ampharos before he calm minds. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to start with the flash, so I can at least get one accuracy lowered. That can make all the difference. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's just stressful. Because he's gonna call he's gonna be like maxed out on calm minds by the time Ampharos gets out. So he's gonna like And he's, he attacks with hydro pumps. I like I watched it back <laughs> to yeah. like figure it out. He attacks with hydro pumps, so he has lowered accuracy anyway. It's only an eighty five percent accuracy move or eighty. Uh, he's gonna be hopefully at least two or three flashes down but he's gonna be a plus six special attack on a Kyogre like mm -hmm. his, his attack is ridiculous yeah. well I'm, I'm not hurt I'm not worried here I feel like I need to save the surf PP oh he's a rock type though oh if he hits me with a rock type move I could be in trouble oh I one shot <laughs> it was water pulse I used water yeah. pulse instead of surf because surf has less PP I hope you guys enjoy my uh oh did you not see what Pokemon's coming next? Nope. Nice. That's where I screw up. Don't play it all. Why do you even worry? You one shot everything. I have to, uh. It's after this one that they, like, catch up to me in levels. They're all in, like, the 50s. Yeah. 
Oh, that up special defense too. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with a surf. I'm not gonna take any risks with this thing living. No. Oh! 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 What did he do? He used hyper beam, but he missed. <laughs> but he lived on one. <laughs> Which was scary because I was like, oh, he's gonna hit me with a hyper. This thing has terrible stats. Yeah. Like, the Clay if, Doll if, or Shaquille? Shaquille. I don't know about Clay Doll's stats, to be honest with you. The thing is, is like it makes sense for me to use Lapras for strength, but I want to keep Lapras for the later fights. Yeah. Because he's stronger. Yeah. So I have to think about that, right? Like even when it's like, oh, Surf is super effective, I can just keep Lapras out. Mm -hmm. Like if Lapras is out to use Ice Beam or something. Yeah. Um. It's still like, I might not want to do that. See, like this whooper? This is the girl that has the whooper and the marsh top that I can just mega drain to death. Mm -hmm. Boom. Look at Doom 2 coming out. He's got his fist up. See his fist? I should put like zoom and zoom in on his fist. Have it really blurred and like pixelated. <laughs> oh, I just made a, I, I made a dumb decision. Did someone die? No, but... Oh, <laughs> I left uh, Sharpedo in against Grovile. Oh, that's that was a bad decision. But for, fortunately, oh, okay, now he's using an attacking move. Did he kill you? Uh, I don't know, I'm about to see. Yep. Oh! No. You better get out of there. <laughs> I need to start running away from the world Pokemon. I was doing that earlier, but... Ugh. Oh, so Asteroid could have learned Sheer Cold off camera. Mm -hmm. But I decided not to because it's got lower accuracy, and I believe you have to be a lower level to get hit by it, mm -hmm. even though it's one hit KO. Plus, it's only 5 PP. Yeah. And Static Shock learns Thunder at level 57. Mm -hmm. He's level 56. Look at his experience bar. I need to hurry up and catch oh, up no. to you. Oh, no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't. Okay. I'm. Oh, I ate that. I ate that, bro. Okay. Probably going to heal again. Nope. No, this is Sandstorm. Hit, this oh, is Sandstorm. Okay. Uh, had a Citrus Berry. Oh, you didn't put him in the yellow. I'm going to hit him with the Thunder Shock, save the Thunder Punch PP. Hmm. Especially because I'm about to get full Thunder PP. Like, after this fight. Yeah. Do you learn moves mid-fight? No. No. I couldn't remember for some reason. That's never been a question that I cared about before. Yo, eat that Ice Beam, don't get a crit. Crit, 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 crit. Holy crits. Got that super effective Thunder Punch, bro. 2,000 experience. Nice. Wait, did you level up? Yep. Nice. Look at that special attack, bro. 165. That's ridiculous. That's absurd. Maybe I should put the Quick Claw. I don't have a Quick Claw anymore. Thunder. Got it. Nice. You get rid of Light Screen. <sighs> no, I'm getting rid of Thunder Shock. <laughs> Because the thing is, like, I, I I was talking to Cameron about this, and I was like, I don't want to get rid of Thundershock because I don't want to, like, I don't know if I want to take the 70 accuracy move. And he's like, wait a minute, look at Thunder Punch. It's 35 stronger and still 100% accuracy with still a lot of PP. You're fine. Yeah. And then Thunder out here, I'm pretty sure that Kyogre has Rain Dance. So on the off chance it uses Rain Dance before my Ampharos gets out to it, if I can get one hit off, Rain Dance makes Thunder never miss. Yeah. Which means I'd have a 165 power after stab on an Ampharos. Super effective move. Are you are you doing all your strategizing around that one Kyogre? Yes. Because everything else I beat! Also, you do learn moves mid-fight. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Yo, bet. I'm almost at 200 HP. Okay, mm -hmm. Swampert's coming out. It's time for Doom 2 to rain some doom on some folks. Gosh, we're 19 minutes in. It's, wait, is this the second Elite Four or the third? Second. Second, okay. Okay. Why? I was just getting worried. You should be getting worried. Oh no. Oh no, it outsped. Ooh. Okay. Okay, but we're about to heal up. We're about to heal up, though. I've, I've done this before, so unless it, like, high rolls or crits, mm -hmm. I'm fine. I remember last time you got lucky with, like, some stuff, like, ended up missing. Well, uh, like, some of your enemies attacked ended up missing that probably would have one-hit you. I 
got him that time. I think that was the last Mon. Mm. This is this kind of situation is why I thought I'd level up Doom, because he took out a level 50 and a level 49. A yeah. 49 fully evolved starter. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I'm fully healed. Nah, just chill in the middle of battle. You'll be fine. You, you can handle that. That'll be okay. Ah, uh, the Snorlax is I, annoying. It's I don't really care heavy. enough to heal the 6 HP on Shaquille and Ampharos. I hope that doesn't come to bite me in the butt. It will, I guarantee it. Yo, here we go. Number three, Glacia. Is that actually your name? I think so. Let's see, it'll tell me again. Uh, oh, no, it won't. Not, not until you lose to her, and it tells you that she took away half her money. Artist Landon. <laughs> Yo, bet. Wish I started with the uh, Lapras. Don't I resist because I'm flying? Are you flying? I do. Yeah, he's water flying, so I resist oh. grass-type attacks. Well, I'm, it's normal effective on me. Yeah. Alright, I've almost made it to Wally. Although, I'm not going to, like, fight him immediately. I'm going to leave. I'm going to dig my way out of here. Grab, uh, oh, go, go to the that's PC. that's not good. What's not good? He hit me with the... Oh, I don't know if my confusion... Yeah, my confusion got off, but I'm paralyzed. And my best stab fight flying move is wing attack, but I'm going to try to take it out with wing attacks. That way I don't have to risk the hard swap into a move that's... to a Pokemon that's weak to it. Yeah. Wait, does ice resist grass? Does ice resist grass? I don't know. No. No, it doesn't. Not according to the type chart. You're going to heal? Oh, you're not going to heal. Okay. Okay, if I'm not paralyzed, this is it for the Valpo. I don't know why I'm talking to you. I keep looking back and talking to you, because he's slightly behind me, guys, and I'm like... I'm gonna miss something important, and you don't even care. You're like, I want you to lose, yeah. so I can win. Oh man, I'm going in circles here in Ripley Road. <sighs> Jigglypuff. I thought you got Flash. Yeah, I, I, do, I do have Flash. I'm still going in circles. It's, it's easy with Flash. <laughs> At least I think I'm going in circles. This area looks really familiar. Oh yeah, I definitely just went in a big circle. Yo, I think Tank being up 10 levels is gonna make a big difference this time around. Yeah, that'll probably be real helpful. Although, even when he was like 10 levels lower, what, didn't he like one-shot something? He was doing really well. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he one-shot something because I was using Acid Armor and Screech. Mm -hmm. So he was like bulking up against it. Oh, Jigglypuff is using Acid Armor. That's not good. Are you just going to sit there and use acid armor at each other? If he's not going to hit me, I'm going to go all the way up, because I can take him back down the Screech. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's probably going to copy me, though. I'm gonna I, If I can set up, I'm going to set up, because even if he can't necessarily take him on, mm -hmm. or like I wouldn't necessarily send him out against him on, if he's up six defense and six evasion, mm -hmm. it's probably worth it. Yeah. Because Sludge Bomb is 90 power, so I mean, that's a 135 power move. Yeah. Oh, it, I think it learned all my abilities, because it just used Acid Armor again. Oh, I need to be careful, though. Because Minimize only has, like, 10 PP. Gotta Let's see how much, I'm gonna see how much... I'm gonna see how much Sludge Bomb does with him being up 4 Acid Armors. That sucks. Not not much, but it's not doing much to you. And its attack is, is really cool. Yeah. And I have Leftovers. Mm. I don't want to use Screech on it. Because I worry that it'll copy Screech and just lower me back down, you know? Wait, is it using a move to copy your attacks? I think so. Now it used double move. So I got the Screech off. So this is why I'm going into tank next. Mm -hmm. Out Like, after Chansey for the Kyogre. Because he can get in there and minimize when it's already down five and then screech it. Mm -hmm. The only problem is, is tank's like my only physical attacker. Yeah. 
but I have to think through it. I mean, wing attack is physical. I have a few physical moves, so I need to make sure that Tank gets in there before I go into anyone using a physical move. Mm -hmm. That way he can get their physical defense as lowered as possible. Because that's the problem with Ampharos, is it's super effective and it's stab and it's really powerful, but he's going to be up at least four, because he's going to do at least two sharply raised defense calm mines. Yeah. It's tough, man. Strategizing around a Kyogre, right? Yo, just throw, a, just throw your Master Ball at it. Have you caught up yet? Uh, I'm about to hit Wally. Okay. Gonna punch his smug little That's face scary. in. This series got really tight. You did the same thing to me in this series that Cameron did in the Red and Blue Verses, where I got to the Elite Four and you were down two badges, so you like gave up on half your team and just started steamrolling the game. I only had half a team in the first place. All right, Wally, I'm coming shot. for you. Yep, I one shot the Diglett. Man, you're you need to be nice to those mods. <laughs> you're you're gonna get like some goats. That's some why I should have stayed in. You. It's what? not worth going through the setup again for the Stammer. Mmm, that's not good. What, what did the standard? Oh, it His calm you. minding. No, I've been paralyzed. He didn't use the paralyze heal? I got paralyzed in this battle, I think. Oh, okay. Alright, I think I'm fighting that uh, that family's kid. Tamer. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't actually say. Was he one of the douches in the red jumpsuits? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably him. But, I mean, there are like a whole bunch of them. That's true. Hey, how does Bug do against water? Uh, neutral, I think. Well, I one shot it, so it doesn't matter. I think Bug. What is Bug super effective on in this Genix? I don't know. Where's the Bug? Uh, fighting, flying, and poison resist it. Ghost resists it. Steel resists it. Fire resists it. It's super effective on grass and psychic and dark, and that's it. Right, I'm fighting Wally. So six things resist it, and it's super effective on three. Mm. I'm so sad that this thing is about to heal. <laughs> oh, oh! You have nope. the Parafusion. Well, I'm going to take the advantage of this turn. Oh, look at this. Don fan versus Don fan. <laughs> and yours is super effective on the other Don fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key to beating mirror matches. Name it. <laughs> name yeah. another Pokemon after it. Only name your Pokemon after mods it's super effective against. I'm going to see how good Surf is with these Calm Mines. Because it might still be better than Stupid Wing Attack. It's about the same. Luckily, me being confused is like not that threatening because I have a ton of potions and my attack is garbage. Yeah. That's the other thing that sucks, is he's like the only other person I have with a physical move for the Kyogre, but his attack is garbage. Whoa! what did he just do? Take down. Mm. And since Confusion, no matter what move you use, is based on your attack stat, I'm not really in trouble when I'm confused. Unless I get really low health like that when he gets the super good tackle takedown. Yeah. I could literally stall him out right now. Which I think is what I'm about to do, because... He's doing a lot of damage with takedown. Because mm -hmm. I have 28 hyper potions. Not full restore, I'm man. I'm tired of this garbage. What is this garbage? Oh, I need to confuse him again. Oh, he confuses me first. Okay. He's smart like that. It, okay, I made it through. And his attack is a lot higher, so when he hits himself in confusion, it's way better. Mm -hmm. Wow, Wally. Okay, so he he had the darn fan, and then he just sent out three water types against me. Wow. He became a water trainer. I'm a little worried about how close you are, to be honest. Because if you get lucky and your elite four is garbage, mm -hmm. you can catch up real fast. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because, like, my Pokemon are, like, 53, 52, and 51, mm -hmm. I think. 
So, like, uh, I'm not sure if I should just rush in, or... Are you going to grind and hope that I lose? Y yeah, that, that, that's the thing, because, well, I, I, I'm, like, I could gamble on fighting a weak Elite Four, uh -oh. but uh -oh. if... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh, I made it out. <laughs> I could, yeah, I could gamble <sighs> on getting a weak Elite Four. Yeah. But if I don't have one, then I'm 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 screwed. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, no that that that's your third elite four person. You've got two more to go. Yeah. I don't know if I have the time. I guess I can just buy a lot of healing items. I think if you grind, you're gambling on me losing. And yeah. And if you don't grind, you're gambling on the strength of the elite four. Yeah. I'm either gambling on me winning or you losing. <laughs> Uh. Hiding from that fire. I'm not a dummy. Eddie outspeeds me, so that's actually a really good move for me to use. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably one shot. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love that special. Oh, I'm level 58, bro! Getting up there in levels. Asteroid for the win! If I can win this mm -hmm. with all. Well, I'm not gonna win it, because my strategy is to sack off mons to lower accuracy, but I could potentially win this with all six mons. If I hit it with like a thunder crit and hit on the first move, yeah, that would be insane. See, my alternate strategy is if I still have my revive when I go in, I could hit it with my Ampharos and then cycle to my other lowering mons and revive mm -hmm. the Ampharos. But the, the gamble there is that that gives it time to put up call mines and raise its special attack before I get my weaker mons in there, which gives them less time to make it less accurate. Whereas the call mines are like free... Because if he goes for Call Mine two or three times in the beginning, yeah, he maxes it out. But also, I can get his accuracy lowered three levels before he even tries to hit me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What would you do if you even want to give me an answer? Uh, I think I you should just quit. Just give up, let me win. That's what I would do. I don't think so. I'm going into the fourth Elite Four member. <sighs> what are you going to do? I think I'm just gonna uh, buy as many healing items as I can and then just... Hope for the best? Yeah. Well, this is a finale right here, ladies and gentlemen. Because uh, if I lose and John keeps going, he'll either win or he'll lose. And I, Well, I guess then it's not a finale. If you keep going and lose, but... Okay, well, I, I'm leaving my two weak mods in the PC. I think that this episode goes until we either one of us wins or both of us lose. And if we both lose, then we'll talk about it between episodes, what we can do to not make the people watch 16 episodes in a row of us grinding a new team. <laughs> yeah. To which the answer is probably we would go... Can protect, can protect you from Confuse Ray? They can. To which the answer is probably we'll go get the, our last few encounters... I'll use my mulligans to hopefully get good encounters or ruin yours, mm -hmm. and then, then we will cut. Like, we'll do that on camera, and then we will cut and train them up into an Elite Four ready team, and then just be like, whoever wins, wins. 1069, bro. That's a lot of XP. Where do you buy your ether? Do you buy them in Slateport? I don't think you can buy them. Oh, then where'd you get all your, all your ethers? I only have one ether and one elixir, and I found them throughout the game, and I kept them. Because I don't think you can buy them. So I held on to them the whole game to have them. Because oh, I also wow. looked up if I could buy a Max Revive anywhere, <laughs> and you can't. A Max Revive? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because that would be more helpful to me than a Revive, because then I would have full health. Yeah. Yo, Zigzagoon coming out here, looking like a goon. Okay, I've got five Lepa Berries, and that's it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go in. Oh, man, you're risking. What if you lose before I even get to the end? Yo, I got... When you switch in a Pokemon, you get leftovers that turn. Oh, cool. Like, like he just sent that in, and it was like, do you want to swap? And I swapped, and it still gave me health that turn. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yo, get those acid armors up, Muck. You gotta live this zigzagoon. Alright, Sydney, I'm gonna beat you up. The, my knowledge of the stats of the Pokemon I am facing is incredibly important in my Elite Four run. <laughs> But you're also getting stuff like Zigzagoon and whatnot. That too, but like, 
knowing when to strategically because like this could be bad like zigzagoon could be bad for my team because my team is all specially bulky yeah except for muck and chancy honestly me losing those three mons in the elite four or in the victory road was the best thing that could have happened to me in this series look at that Ooh, wait, is that what it, one hit KO? I took my defense up four and took his down two and then hit him with a sludge bomb. Uh, How's it going over here for you? Uh, just to hit the first guy, the That's first good. one. What's your, what's your type diversity like? What are you running with on your team? Two waters, one fi uh, three waters, one fire. <laughs> <laughs> so not good. What body is your team? Is there anything good on both of those? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Is there anything that's super effective on both types? No, there's not. No. And I mean, I... that makes sense that there wouldn't be. I was yeah. curious if there was. Yo, Gyarados. <sighs> His me... last two mods were a Squirtle and a Gyarados, to which I'm super effective. Oh. My, my other strategy, light screen's only good for five turns. I'm gonna have to decide if it's worth it for the para in the para light season? screen. Oh, I think the para is worth it. Because light screen protects me from the attack, but thunder wave will stay with it. The Oh, he's going to use full heals to heal up, isn't he? Or full restores? Has he been using them? I, I, think, the cha I think the champion's going to use full restores. Yeah. So... So hitting him with the paralysis might not be worth it. Because it would half his speed, but if he's just going to do it, you get rid of it when he heals up, you know? Mm -hmm. Not not here, but... Oh, he used Rain Dance. I should have used Thunder. Thunder. How many full heals? Full restores. Okay, uh, so th three, this guy's yeah, second mon was a Hariyama. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. I, I killed it. And now I sent out a Goldeen. You need to be careful and think about your subtypes. Is fighting good on ground? No, it's not. For some reason, I thought it was. Yo, I'm at the champion, bro. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Ooh. Loudred. Oh, there's a Reddit. A subreddit for this. For what? Uh, each game. Oh, yeah. There'd, there'd definitely be a subreddit for each game like that. I thought you were, like, trying to say that there was a subreddit for a card lock. No, that would be crazy. <laughs> okay, so I just used Earthquake a bunch in a row and one hit all of his According mods. to this, they have three... They what? I just used Earthquake a bunch of times in a row and hit all his mods. Oh, so you're on the second person now? No. Oh, yeah, I'm about to hit the second person. I don't know why I'm saving <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't read. You can't save scum. Uh, so I was just looking at it, and according to this subreddit, four is the item limit for trainers in Gen Three. So if I can milk all of them out of him before the Kyogre, I could hit it with the Para and and outspeed it every single time, mm -hmm. which means extra moves probably. Yeah. The only problem is, is to do that first, I have to go. I don't know what I do is all going to depend on how my team looks when the Kyogre comes in. Mm -hmm. This is so stressful. All right. Probably confuse Ray and Sir. Done there. Confuse Ray, Surf. Okay, I'm still doing pretty good on PC. So that one's anymore. Muck gets the elixir. Maybe we should stop mumbling to ourselves. I'm talking loud enough. I'm, okay. think, I'm thinking Muck gets my elixir, and then I save the in item. You get the lepa berries. That's what we're doing here. Honestly, I don't think I want to use an in item turn for these items. I think I need to use them now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you can't just equip it, can you? Equip what? The item. I mean, I could have with the berry, but... Yeah. 
Yeah, no, if you give it like a potion or something, it'll, it'll just hold on to it. It won't actually do, yeah. it anything, do anything with it. Yeah. Oh, thanks for sleep powdering me, Hoppip. I'm sitting here like really looking into this, bro. Like, what can I do to be 100% positive? item do you have? Is it Petcha Berry? Will he use a Paralyze Heal automatically? Do they even have Paralyze Heals, or do they have, like... I, th I think they just use Full Restore for, like, anything. I'm giving my weak Mons Orange Berries. <laughs> So that way, maybe if they live on, like, a low... Or maybe maybe the 10 HP comes in at a time where they live one more hit. I don't, I don't know. I don't really see any other status issues being a problem. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Well, you better hurry up, because uh, I'm, I'm almost there. No, you're not. You're only the second person. <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah. Here we go. But also, they've had, like, weak mods. Well, I'm going in. Alright, go, so Steven, having, go! I'm having flashbacks, and I don't like it. <laughs> like, I just... It's gonna be my reputation to just... choke right at the end, you know? Everybody's gonna be like, don't worry about where you're at in the verses with Jordan. Yeah, he, he's, he, he's gonna choke. Yeah. Well, this is starting well. Ooh, toke pee. What song are you trying to do? The Indigo Plateau song. Oh. I, I guess I don't know the music well enough. <laughs> oh, he's gonna heal. Actually, I kind of want him to heal, right? Three yeah. full restores left. I hope this Reddit is right, so I don't like misjudge this. What if I just wait out the hydro pumps? What do you mean? Does hydro pump only have 5 PP? I think so. That seems like it would be true. But also there's like a gener there's a generation where like your opponents don't have don't have don't have don't have Oh. And I forget when they actually had started having the opponents pay attention to their PP. I think it was by now, maybe even in the second generation. And I, maybe I'm just completely misremembering something. I'm looking it up. I'm allowed to do that, right? Yeah, yeah you can look it up. PP is 5, max 8. Oh, do I have... Did I have one of those PP increasing things? I should have used that. I don't think I have one. Because, like, that's that's something you have to pick up off the ground, and, like, all our items are randomized. Mm -hmm. I'm literally w trying to stall him out on the Togepi <laughs> to find out if I can get him to use it or not. To get to use another full restore? Yeah, I don't think he will. It's probably set to where he'll only use so many per Pokemon. Yeah. Because I've used Confuse Ray for three turns in a row, and he's not doing it. All right, I beat number two. Oh, I probably should have healed though. Made sure I was at full before I went on to the next Pokemon. Yeah. What's really gonna screw me is if he throws out a Pokemon that's not Kyogre before the last Pokemon, or throws out Kyogre before the last Pokemon. Yeah. Especially if it happens to be like a ground type, <laughs> and all I have left is the Ampharos. Oh, he's got six Mons. Oh, and the second Mon is already a higher level than me. 56. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm worried, too. The Kyogre's like 61. I one-shot the Fampy. I've that's got... That's a baby Pokemon. You should beat up on babies baby. like that. He's a pre-evolution, but he's not a baby. I mean, the, yeah, yeah, the pre-evolution's the baby Mons. That's not... Okay. Gloom is Grass Poison... Where's my chart? Where's my chart that I wrote all this down on? Because he's the same as Vileplume. 
fighting water and grass? I'm consulting the type chart. Take your time, man. Flying, poison, fire, and psychic. But he resists poison. Is that... No, ice. Sorry. Ooh, oh, I don't like the that. The problem is, is it's Lapras. I think I'm about to lose Vulpix. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna have to timestamp it if you lose, so don't forget. Yeah, he, he's dead. What, what timestamp? Uh, 4525. Vulpix died. <laughs> this is where this is where Titan Works is gonna kill me. Cause... Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, go first. Move I'm, first. I'm stupid. I should have sent out Swampson because he. He's ground. Oh no. Yeah, that was a bad move on your part. Wow, look at your waveforms. Oops, sorry. Dude, we're gonna be on an hour of power. This is a 45-minute episode. He's uh -huh. using Ludicolo. Ludicolo is what screws me, because I have nothing good on Ludicolo. I don't think I have anything good on Ludicolo. Oh, he's weak to poison and flying. What's he good on? You should kill. I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, so do I. Why did we do this, Jill? I don't know. Uh, do you want to, like, have a cut? In the middle of the Elite Four? Yeah. No, not really. Come on, man. <laughs> don't, don't say anything. Or are you saying come on that you want you want to break? Yeah. Just just a real quick one. He's resistant. Who's he super effective on? Water and grass. I'm not really worried about that. Ah, oh, Ludicolo. <sighs> What are you going to do? <laughs> Sedel should kill. Muck is the answer. Because Muck is super effective on him. But I, I want Muck to be alive and at full health. Yeah. And he's not going to use any physical moves. He's not going to use any non-physical moves. Oh. Okay. Okay, is Swift physical? Swift is normal. I might set up, actually. I don't remember what comes after. I don't remember what came before the Kyogre. But if I fully set up with Muck now, mm -hmm. and then. So do Muck and. Do Muck before I do Chansey. So I can get some defense lowers. Yeah. In sludge ball and maybe poison it you know have that poison chip away longer because I can set up fully here with minimizes and all like get everything up as high as it can go mm -hmm. alright I beat I the beat real question three. is you beat number three yeah Jesus I'm in trouble what if your champion is like super weak and I'm sitting here battling this Kyogre oh, I, I, but I did lose a Mon I don't know how many minimizes I've used. Hey, would you be mad at me if I use this max revive I have? Yes. <laughs> All right, let me. You... Oops, I don't want to check the tag. I want to use a leopard berry. I should use this opportunity to get everybody else up all the way too. Oh, if you if Ludicolo uses Rain Dance. Dude, I think I figured out the strat. Is I have to stay ahead of you enough. That I can bait the rain dance, bait out the full heals, and bait out the hydro pumps so it can't hit me with hydro pumps. Because mm -hmm. he has ice beam too, but hydro pump is like way better because it's stab. Yeah. All right. The question see. is, is it worth getting the screeches on him when the only physical move I can hit him with is wing attack outside of sludge bomb? Or do I get the extra stab sludge bomb in with the extra chance to poison what do you think? Uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm not paying attention to you. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to like figure out my strategy. 
my evasiveness is maxed. My Screech missed? Oh, because Screech is 85 accuracy. Wait, did you just take like half your health? No, it's been lowered. I'm healing. Oh, okay. I'm healing with it. Oh, He's okay. not hitting me because I'm maxed out minimize right now. Yeah. That's the downside to using Muck first. Mm -hmm. Is that Muck has a uh, Muck has a move that can really hurt Kyogre, but it, but it's not going to have the, uh, like he's going to be pre-set up, but he's not going to have the other additional five flashes off or however many it is. Yeah. I think if you choose not to switch, you should be like allowed to heal your Pokemon before their new Pokemon comes in. Nope, you just gotta attack. Uh, oh, how are you okay. doing? How many mons do you have left on this one? I've got three mons. No, how many mons does they, do they have left? Oh, this is their, their second. So they've got... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there he goes. Say goodbye to Don Fan. 50 minutes. Oh. oh, that sucks. Yeah, you're not winning this. Yeah. <laughs> you're not winning this. There's no way. <sighs> damn, damn it, John. Oh. If only... If, if I had been smart with... Uh... <sighs> If I had been smart with Vulpix and uh, Swampson. See, the thing is, is I would have won last episode if you uh, had not used your card. So you couldn't have, uh, you couldn't have helped that. So you were, honestly, you are in the best situation you were going to get in. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use three acid armors, because on the off chance that he, whatever his fourth move is, is a physical move, I'll be bulked up for it. Or, you know, whatever Mon comes out next. Plus, I'm kind of letting him run out of moves because he's only got Astonish. And his, uh, his Astonish does damage to me. But if I get lucky and he, like, he misses a turn, then I can be fully healed up or really close so my Leftovers heals me up mm -hmm. going into the next Mon. Yeah, look at that. He did six damage. He's got his defense is fully lowered. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if the sludge bomb. All right, uh, mark it down. Uh, Someone loaded, died. Yeah, my load at 52 minutes. Oh, so you're about to lose. Hey, I've got one mod left. Are you just gonna? What do we do? Are you just gonna start grinding if you lose? Uh, I've got. Are you just gonna wait and see if I win? <laughs> I'm gonna go go do some contests, man. No infantry contests. He's bringing in a spoink. Oh, that's super effective on me! Bro, I'm taking the chance. I have six minimizes up. I'm, I'm going for the sludge bomb. Oh, oh yes, yeah, he missed. If I can kill him before he hits me, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no way. Do you think he kills me with seven levels on me? Oh, he used, yeah. he used rest. He's dead. No. If this turns into a stall fest and you die, can I start using speed up? Uh, or... no, because I gotta have time to do my contests. John. Oh, I baited a full restore. He's only got two left. Nice. All right, come on. Oh, he's come taking on, no out. Whammies. He's taking out all my sludge bombs, dude. Oh. Oh, he's okay. only got one full restore left. I'm, I'm done. You lost. Well, I mean, I've still got two mons in a PC, but yeah, I'm done with this run. Bro. I'm sorry. It was he just baited first... out. He's used all his full restores, but he baited out all of my sludge bombs, basically. Oh, I should have hit him with a screech. Oh, he's poisoned. Maybe that'll kill him. Yeah, I got lucky. He took six of my sludge bombs. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. What do I go for? Do I go for the Screech? Throw the match. Throw the match, Jordan. I think I go for the Poison. I have six Mons. Oh, it's level 56. I was wrong. I'm going for the Sludge Bombs. Because also, this is one of my only physical moves, and he's raising his special defense. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the move. Do you see how much that did? 
He has no full restores left. And he missed with Hydro Pump. What if I just solo or like soloed this man's like four of his five, six, or I duoed this champion? Look at that. Look at that. He's got rest. That's his fourth move. Do I switch into Ampharos and go for the Thunder? Or do I stay in? Kill him with the Sludge Bombs. He's only got. I've only got one more Sludge Bomb. Hey, you've got Leopard Berries. No, I didn't. I used them all. Oh, did you use all of your PP restoring stuff? I have one. Dude. Dude! Tank! The extra 10 levels just won me this with Tank. Oh, oh, he's gonna use it again. He just woke up and used it again. This is high. Are you really going to do a contest? Yeah, what else am I gonna do? You're gonna train! What if I lost? <laughs> You're not gonna lose. You don't think so? You've got him in, like, a, a loop. Dude. And eventually you're gonna get a crit. Dude. Why'd you just screech? Oh, did you run out of sludge bombs? No, but if he rests again, then he'll be down two defense with my physical sludge bomb, so I'll two shot him instead of three shot him. Mm -hmm. Oh, we missed you with the high I won. I just won. G freaking G. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the final episode of the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire Randomizer versus Card Lock with Jordan. And John. We still gotta do some stuff. You... Oh, I made it to level 52 at the end. Boss Joey. I don't fight my rival, do I? No. Okay. I did it. I did it. I can't believe it. I did it, bro. Here's some advice. Bro. Bro. Wait, did I just go back into Zelda music? Yeah. <laughs> I love Ocarina of Time. It's my championship music. Wow, look at my waveforms. I got really loud. John, I'm shaking John's hand, everybody. That was a valiant... Don't... Stop that. <laughs> okay, That I was can... a valiant effort. You made such a comeback attempt. Yeah. I can't believe that... I made it... I did it with all six months. All of them are alive. Nice. Even the useless Chansey. He wasn't useless, but I didn't have to use him this time. Mm -hmm. How did I lose... Did the 10 levels on that muck make that big of a difference? I guess it must have. I guess, I guess so. But dang, guys, that was, that was it. That was a big day for all of us. Should we let the credits roll? Uh, yeah, I need to go to the bathroom real bad. But, but we gotta let the credits roll. Here, I'll, I'll speed up. Okay. All right, guys, we don't know what we're doing next. We haven't figured it out yet. You know, episode one hasn't even dropped yet <laughs> but we want to thank you guys for your support we want to thank you for your likes and your comments and your subscriptions and your tweets at us at pokemon arcade on twitter <laughs> we've been having a good time i'm happy to do this with my old friend john we're probably going to do more of these yeah and uh, we might make a couple changes to the cards add some cards take some other cards away we definitely need a murder card like you can just like knife yeah, just one Yeah, murder. That, You're I, one of your opponent's mods. I mean, maybe. They should all be murders. I also think we have to take one away for or, or take a, put a card in for like null or something. Like you can negate someone's card effect if you have. Oh, it. like like a counter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or like, you could have like a reflect where, like if they like a, we keep our, no we you. keep our cards secret. You don't get to know what I have. They don't get to know what I have. Mm -hmm. And then, that way, if I have a reflect and hold on to it, and you use a dangerous one on me, I reflect, and it's like, oh, but maybe that's not a good idea, because nobody knows. But there's the, the end screen. It's loading to the title. We could talk all day, I'm sure, but John's got places to go. We got a lot of thumbnails to take, and thank you all so much, and we will see you back here for some other generation of Pokemon game. Have a great... However long this series goes on a hiatus, probably not too long. 
Catch you guys next time. See you later.